1 plus log of x divided by x dx. So now, if you look at this part, dx over x, you can see that it might resemble some logarithm, uh, some, uh, some, have some relation to logs, right? So if we denote u as the log of x plus 1, then du is going to be 1 over x dx. Which basically means that now we have integral of u du. But now, if, uh, now we have to think about the limits of the integration. If x is equal to 1, that means that u is equal to what? 1 as well. If x is equal to e, u is equal to 2. two. So instead of integ uh, integral from 1 to e, 1 cross log x divided by x dx, we have integral of u by du with the limits from 1 to 2. This is going to be the same, uh, this is going to be the same integral, but this one looks a little bit simpler. So this one is equal to 1 half u squared from 1 to 2, which is 3 over 2. So again, you see that the, uh, the integrals here are quite simple. I mean, the table integrals are simple. The principles behind them are probably not. Also, this was a uh, substitution. There is, another, uh, there is another part, which is integration by parts, which we'll probably not be covering over here today. But still, integration by parts is covered in pretty much every, uh, every mathematical book. So I hope you will be able to go this over, uh, over this by, by your own. But still, uh, this is something that you have to understand uh, for the final exam. And finally, once we are talking about functions of several variables, to understand first the concept of partial derivatives. And I would like to I would like you to train on functions such as of Douglas uh, of Douglas uh, type functions because you will see a lot of them immediately in the first mini term. Something like that. So you can see that f prime with respect to x is just a alpha x alpha minus 1 y beta. But if you think about this a little bit, you will see that this is nothing more than alpha over x f of x and y. And the same about the second part. Which is going to be beta over y, f of x and y. But you have to be able to work with those derivatives, both with the first derivatives and with the second derivatives as well. So you have to find the full matrix of the, of the second derivative. The matrix of the, the second derivatives is what is called Hessian, and you have to, uh, and you have to know how to find all elements of this matrix. Well, and you all remember that the cross uh, the, the, the partial cross derivatives are, are going to be correct. Yes. Then if we have uh, then you also have to understand the concept of the chain rule for the function of multiple variables as well. function of x and y, 
and we know that x is the function of t and s and y is some other function of t and s, then how can we find dz over dt, for example? Again, that means we have to use this is this is capital F over here. So if you want to find uh, the derivative of this function with respect to t, for example, then we use the chain rule several times, which is df over dx times dx over dt. Plus the second function is also a function of t, which means df over dy times dy over dt. And the last example as a whole task is z is something like e to the power of x squared plus y squared e to the power of x y. And we know that x is something like 2t plus 3s and y is t squared s cubed. So we substitute all of this into this formula so that we can find something like dz over dx. Again, this is, uh, this is very straightforward. I, I wouldn't like to waste much of your time for that. Just plug everything into the formula to get the answer. As I, uh, as I said last time, and probably if you didn't remember, it might be useful for you, uh, you can get any book Mathematics for Economists which is approved by the Minister of Education of Ukraine. Basically any, there is no difference between them. At least such a drastic difference that you would notice. So just take any book, there is a list of different books on the website. I have got this book recently from Nehavni Year, but you can get it anywhere, you can get, uh, you, you can get every book and uh, all those books follow the same program. And this is the program uh, that we require you to understand and to know uh, and to know how to solve all those things. I have shown on the part of what is expected from you on the exam and this was the second part uh, which was uh, calculus. The first part, which is linear algebra, was presented here last time, and the next part is going to be presented next time. This is going to be about the probability theory. The probability theory is also, again, uh, quite simple. Look at the examples, uh, examples of the uh, exams from previous years. We decided that we are not going to put the last year exam uh, on, on, on the web. Just be, this is just our policy now. And uh, that means all previous examples, or all previous exams should be available and you can use them and uh, just practice, practice, practice. That's it. Okay, any questions? Comments? Complaints? Thanks.